I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but boy, we just hit 100,000 subscribers. But shout out to you, though. Shout out to you. It's because of you. You've been the one hitting the like button. I see you. You be hitting that like button. You the one that's been sharing the videos. You ain't got to hit the like button, but you do it anyway. I appreciate you. From the bottom of my diaper, man. From, 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 from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. Demarcus, why you got to pull up on your head? Because we're about to pull up on the devil. And speak all kind of scriptures over our situation. In the name of Jesus, Satan, we command you to take your hands off of them. Because we're going to stand in the gap for them. Because we children of God. See, them, them, them people out there that's in bondage, they don't know no better. They may not ever heard the name of Jesus Christ. But see you, you know better. You got your spiritual authority from Luke chapter 10, verse 19. It says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. So, yeah, you using the word of God. You, you, you coming in Jesus name and the devil got to flee. But see them, they don't know no better. So it's up to you to stand in the gap for them and tell the devil, take his hands off of them. And what the devil got to do, he got to listen to it because you're speaking in Jesus name. Jesus has given you authority. <laughs> he giving you authority. That's just like a janitor or a custodian. If you look at that key ring, they got about 50, 55 keys on there. They got authority to every single room around the building. Don't play with them because they just might lock you out of your door. They got authority. They can open door. They can close door. And you got the keys. You still in bondage? You still feeling depressed? Speak the word over your situation and the enemy got to take off one. Boop, you just open that door. That's right. The enemy can only bully people who don't know any better and see you, you know better. So it's time for you to go bully him. We're going to pull up on the devil. What that say? Size six, man. Size seven, I mean. We're going to pull up on the devil. And also today, you're going to learn to pull up your faith. Because the Bible says we go from faith to faith. In other words... If you think about a staircase, right? Going all the way to level 10. <laughs> Sometimes you got to grow through level one, level two, level three. Many people, they stop at level three and look up at 10 and say, oh, why can't I be at level 10? Take your time. Because there's things you learn at every single step that's going to sustain you when you get to number 10. Because if you get to number 10 too early without taking the proper steps, you won't be able to sustain it at the level number 10. Just like the game of Mario. You used to play Mario. When you win level number one, it gives you a flashlight. <laughs> when you win level number two, it might give you a slingshot. You, you beat level number three, I don't know, it might give you a broom. And you're like, why do I need a broom? Why do I need a flashlight? Why do I need, why am I going through this? Why am I dealing with this? Why am I going through this situation? God is growing you. Because when you get to level number 10, you understand. You got to use the broom. You're going to need your flashlight. You need the slingshot. You need all these things to sustain you from the attacks of the enemy. Because guess what? New level, new devil. That's right. A lot come with this. Get to 100K. People trying to hack my account every day. I get emails all throughout the night. Demarcus, is this you? Logan, Demarcus, is this Demarcus? Are you trying to reset your password? I wake up like, man, I, come on, no? Nah. People creating fake accounts, all kind of stuff. Don't reply to any comment you get. Listen to me. If you, if you get a comment and you think it's from me, please click on the actual YouTube channel and you'll see it take you to a channel. And they probably didn't even spell my name right, right? They might not have any subscribers, right? Don't don't text no number or send no money to nobody because it's all scams. That's how the enemy works. You, you get what I'm saying? But man, it's sad, man. It's sad, man. But I got to be real with you and tell you about the kind of attacks. New level, new devil. But I just look in the mirror at myself and I just encourage myself and say, Demarcus, boy, you done, low, you, you done leveled up. It's been a long road, boy. You used to get two views on your video and both of them views came from you because you hit the refresh button. Don't lie. Yeah, I used to hit the refresh button to, to run the views up, but now it's different. It's different. 
Because I learn. No matter who it separates me from or identifies me with, I'm going to always choose to go with God and share what's on my heart, even if nobody is listening. If nobody was watching this video, I'd be in here talking to myself. I wrote a list of things I want to share with you. I hope you don't mind. I just need a few minutes of your time. First thing, what you tune into, you turn into. And whatever entertains you, trains you. So be mindful of where you give your attention in this world. Because see, if the enemy can't stop you, his job is to distract you. So I need you to get back focused. And for those of y'all who want to start a YouTube channel, uh, you know what I mean? Or, or got a questions like that. I'm going to help you out in this video. I'm going to give you the game. Some people charging thousands of dollars for all this stuff. I'm going to tell you the truth in this video. I'm going to help you out. You feel me? I'm going to help you out. I made it to where I made to so 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 I could reach back and help some people. But let's get to the next thing. I can't understand my own handwriting, so just bear with me. Oh, I got another one. Oh, this is a good one. They never love the butterflies when they're caterpillars. Stop expecting people to believe in your dreams, man, when you don't even believe in it yourself. You can't be mad at people for not supporting you in the beginning. Why? They, ain't supposed, they can't see your vision. God gave you the vision. It's up to you to step out on that thing and make it happen. And then people going to jump on the bus. That's human nature. People don't believe in what they can't see. You got to show them. You got that dream. You got to step out on it. When I was out here in the park doing these videos, getting bit by mosquitoes. Come on, man. People thought I was crazy. They still do think I'm crazy. Somebody imagine you driving your car in this park and you pull up and park next to me and look over here and we make eye contact. You're going to be like, man, this dude crazy. What in the world? Y'all won't be. Then you're going to go home and tell your family. Y'all don't. I don't look. I don't saw it all in life, man. You won't believe what I saw today. I went to the park. Dude had a die, a, 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 a size seven diaper on his head. With all kind of stuff. Uh, going down his nose They're going to be like nah you ain't see that Did you take a picture of him Be like yeah I got a picture of him right Then they zoom in and say man that's Demarcus That's Demarcus <laughs> Next thing I got for you man Don't let fear intimidate you <laughs> Because see if the enemy can intimidate you With fear you've already passed away You're, you're done with your life is done with. Don't live in fear. It's possible to live fear free in a fear filled world. How do you know that, Demarcus? The Bible says God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So if you are feeling fearful, it means the enemy is on you. What does fear stand for, Demarcus? False evidence appearing real. How does God want me to view it, though? Flip fear upside down and make it stand for F-E-A-R. Face everything and rise. And then what I do? You choose to step out and walk by faith and you be bold about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I play around in my video, but I'm going to be bold about it. Yeah, you may laugh at me for putting this on my head, but I'm going to tell you right now. Next time I might have two of them on my head. Next time I might get to put the yellow on there. I'm going to be bold about it because I'm having fun and I'm being used by God. Anytime you feel yourself get, being fearful, here's what you got to watch out for. F. You're probably forgetting the goodness of God. E, you're probably envisioning the worst and not the best. So many focus, so many people focus on what could go wrong <laughs> instead of thinking about what could go right. The A, you've accepted defeat before the fight. You ain't even threw a jab in the you ain't even you're laying down in the boxing ring. Oh, it's too hard. And they got they, they got haters. We all got haters. You don't think I got haters? You know how many people I got against me? We all got haters. That just means you're doing something right, boy. And or you reject God's way of doing it, which is reading his word, understanding his word, smiling in the midst of your situation and stepping out and walking by faith. Why do you smile, Demarcus? Because God's word says he gives us the peace that surpasses all understanding. That means it's, it, it is possible to be in the middle of a storm. Alligators in the water. Waves going all up. Oh, but you got peace on your little bitty boat. That's because you got Jesus on your boat. 
peace is not the absence of a storm. It's the presence of God in the middle of the situation with you. Why is that, Demarcus? Because peace is not something, it's someone. Many people mess up in the world. They go all around looking for peace in all the world. Ah, if I get more, oh, if I get to the bag, I'm going to get peace. If I get that new thing, if I do this, if I do that, they look for peace in all the wrong places. There's a void, right there. there's, a, there's a hole right here that only God can fill. If it come from the world, you don't want it. It's only counterfeit peace. You can go to the drugs, alcohol, this, sleeping around, all this silly stuff, but it's a dead end street down there. I promise you. How you know, Demarcus? Because I've been around the block. I'm not telling you something I heard. I'm telling you what I know. I've been, a, I done hit the corner a lot of times way back there, <laughs> but I ain't going back. And don't look back, Demarcus, unless you're planning on going back. As a matter of fact, Demarcus, break your rearview mirror because you don't need to be looking in the past. That's why your windshield is way bigger than your rearview mirror because you don't need to be looking backwards. No, we moving ahead. You can begin again. Nobody can go back and make a brand new start. But what you can do is begin again and create a brand new ending. But this time you're going to choose to begin again with the end in mind. That's right. You, you, you're going to be focused. Begin again with the end in mind. The Bible says cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. So while you're climbing and while you're being used by God, you're constantly giving him your cares. You're giving him your worry. See me, I'm going to keep it real with you. Outside my home, I got what's called a problem tree. <laughs> and guess what I do? Anything I'm going through, I, I, I put it on my problem tree because I ain't bringing it in to, to my house. I ain't bringing my worries home. No, I'm giving it to my problem tree. And my problem tree is Jesus. I lay it down at the feet of Jesus. Somebody say, Demarcus, man, I'm dealing with this. Can you pray for me? I got you, man. Let's go into prayer. <laughs> and, 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 you know, they walk off relieved. Like, man, I feel better. And, and, and cool. all, all I did was lay it at his feet. I'm not about to carry that situation either. <laughs> what I look like carrying my worries and yours. No, I'm going to take it all up, tie it in a bag, put it in a knot, and lay it at the feet of Jesus because I'm not walking around stressed. I'm not created to be burned down and neither are you. But I want to let you know something. You ain't got to go through me to get to God. You got the same amount of access. Why is that, Demarcus? The Bible says we can approach his throne boldly because we're children of God. Jesus died on the cross for your sins, right? So that means your blood bought, you're redeemed. Jesus is your gateway to heaven. Jesus is your connection to God. That's why when we pray, we say in Jesus' name, because see, when God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. He sees his, no, hold on. Yeah, I'm saying that right. When God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. He sees the blood of Jesus because you're covered. You've been redeemed. So act like it. <laughs> Put a smile on your face and talk to God. Because you his child. The same way at 2.30 a.m. My daughter could come in there and say, hey, hey, dad, I would like a little cup of juice, please. And no matter how tired I am, boy, I'm going to get up and go get that juice. I'm going to fill it all the way up to the top. Give it to my daughter. Why is that? Because that's my child. And if I'm a loving father in the natural, how much more does your heavenly father love you, boy or girl? You better realize how much you love and stop believing the lies of the enemy. So what? You got a messed up past. So what? You've been running from God your whole life. So what? You ain't been making time for God. Today is a new day. It's a fresh start. One day or day one, you decide. Today is day one. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Where I'm at. <laughs> I wrote a note to myself. I say, boy, we done came a long way, boy. I'm supposed to be writing notes for the video, but I'm only here talking to myself because that's what I'm used to doing. We've been going every day for years on here. And, it's, and, it's, and, and, and listen to me, it's not going to stop. I'm going I'm to keep on going. Because I'm here for you. That's right. I'm here for you. I done made videos when I had the pink eye, one eye closed. I done had made videos when I was sick, full of NyQuil. In a video like this, eh, talking, still trying to get the word out. I won't be silenced. I done made video when my voice was hoarse. <laughs> if I wasn't able to talk at all, boy, I'd be on here doing sign language. Or I'd write one word at a time on here. 
and, and make one of them text video. I'm going to find a way to get the word out. Why is that? People lives depending on it. Demarcus in the 12 years or 10 years you don't been on YouTube. Some people may have passed away and went to heaven. And it may be because God used one of your videos to, to connect them to him. Boy, you got a purpose on your life. That's, that's how God is. That's how he is. God looks at me and say, that's my son right there. Yeah, he a little silly. Yeah, he a little throw it off. Yeah, he going to put a diaper on his head. But that's still my son and you better not touch him. That's what he tell the enemy. <laughs> and look, 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 I be sitting back there, you know me, I'm smiling, he's like, yeah, you know, you know, after, after, you know, after God say something to the enemy, I'm back there, I, I'm over there like, yeah, you better not touch me. Oh, what you mean, Demarcus? Listen to me. <laughs> there was once a little bitty baby tiger. He was in the middle of the field and there was a little hyena that, 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 that came up like this and he was trying, he was trying to attack the little baby lion. The little baby lion said, Rawr. And the little hyena was laughing like, <laughs> like, dude, I'm 10 times your size and you're a little baby uh, tiger and, and you're trying to roar. So what that little tiger did, little tiger said, Rawr. then the hyena looked at him again and his eyes got big and he started getting scared. And the little tiger like, what's going on? I think, I think my roar actually worked. Until he looked up and saw who was behind him. It was the daddy tiger standing over him like this. Rawr! The little hyena took off. And boy, that's just how I be when it come to God. Some situations, I say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I need you on there. And I give it to him. And he's standing over me. And he's standing over me. He's standing over me. And then he say, Rawr! He literally stands over me in my situation. And he's standing over you in your situation. And once you know him, he's protecting you and he's guiding you. <laughs> you going to stop being scared of the enemy. You feel me? Oh, this video. I said, look, this video for the dream chasers, man. If you got a dream, you got to step out on it. I don't know why I write like this, man. I didn't learn how to write. Oh, I, oh, oh, I know what I'm trying to get at with DeMarcus. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph because I can't understand your handwriting, but I get what you're trying to say. I'm a better talker than I am a writer. And I got to say this and keep it real. You don't need nobody approval. Stop looking around for people approval. Hey, you think I need to start this channel? Hey, you think I need Hey, you think I need Hey, 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 hey. Please stop the talking and start the doing. The Bible say faith without works is dead. If you out in the middle of the ocean, we talking about faith and works, right? Faith without works is dead. If you out in the middle of the ocean, you got two paddles. One represents faith, one represents works. And all you do is just have faith. What you really doing? Keep it all the way 100. What you really doing? You're just spinning your little boat in a circle. But when you do faith and works, Faith. Then you start to move forward in the things of God. And then those people, that's when they're going to come support you because they see you're actually trying and doing something. But off all you're doing is just believe. I'm just believing. I'm just believing. Yeah, you believe. But why don't you get up, put on some clothes and go do it. Just go try to do it. Just go fail. And if you fail, fail forward. If you fail, fail forward and keep on trying. Step out on that thing God put on your heart. You don't need nobody's support. You're going to get them on the back end. They're going to believe it when they see it. That's like if you got, if, if it's a little five-year-old dude playing the drums in the room. Keep it real. You don't believe in little homie like that. You don't believe, you don't believe he going to grow up and be a, the best drummer in the, you don't believe that. Keep it real. You're going to tell little homie, get your education. You feel me? And, and, and that's the truth. Get your education or whatever. But if you see them always practicing, 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 pretty soon they come on board. They say, oh, I, I see. I see he doing it or whatever. So you got to keep on going. You're going to get them on the back end. <laughs> Just like when people go to the dealership. <laughs> and they think they're getting a good deal on a car. But see, the finance department, they say, we got them because we're going to get them on the back end. They don't know what the interest rate going to be when they get in here. But I'm going to sell them on it. We're going to get our money on the back end. What am I telling you by that? 
Everything that's good is not God and everything of God is good. Why is good not enough? It got one too many O's. Make sure that it is from God. Just like the finance department in some dealership. I got to keep it real with you, though. You got to watch out for the interest rate. They going to get you on the back end, dog. Make sure you do your own numbers before you go in there. Because if you go in there without your calculator, if you go in there without doing your own research, they going to finesse you, dog. They going to get you. Hey, if you ain't confident, bring your big brother with you. Bring your uncle, bring your dad, bring your mama with you. Bring somebody that's going to put on their glasses and say, hold on a second. Where that zero come from? And uh, then they'd be like, oh, okay. My bad, it was a typo or whatever. Grandma just saved you. Uncle just saved you. The dude with the diaper on just said, somebody that helped you out. If you can't do it on yourself, bring somebody with you. That's wisdom. That ain't on my paper, but it ought to be. Whoever trying to buy a little car, man, be careful. <laughs> I don't know why I be writing this stuff, man. They tried to bury me, but they ain't know I was a seed, though. People used to laugh at me. People used to say, man, your videos ain't going to be. Man, you, man, you wasting your time. To, man, you a clown. I remember this. They tried to bury me. But they ain't know I was a seed, though. They didn't know I was built different. They didn't know I'm, I'm a child of God. They didn't know I ain't got no quit in me. And you don't have no quit in you either. They tried to bury me. What if I would have stopped uploading? I would have never been able to reach those people with the word of God. What if, what if I was trying to win their approval? Come on, man. Please stop trying to please everybody. If you want to please everybody, sell ice cream. That's the only way. And to be honest with you, that don't even make them happy. Because if you ain't got sprinkles to go on with it, they going to slam the door and, and say, I'm going to the ice cream shop down the street. They got sprinkles. Then they get over there and, 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 and y'all don't got gummy bears, though, like them down there. With it. Listen to me. You can't make everybody happy. Find something you love to do and just do it. And the right people will come. People like you going to come around and hit the like and the share button. People like you go, people like you, man, you got it. You, you get what I'm saying? There comes a time when you stop trying to convince people and you start talking to the people who are already convinced. You got me. I'm trying to help you out, man. Relate this to what you go. Everything. I took every brick, every negativity, every brick somebody threw at me and I built a house with it. I used it as motivation. I done been done wrong so many times that I lost count. You're not the only one with haters. You're not the only one that go through some. I go through some things just like you. I promise you I do. I don't want you to. I want you to view me as a regular person because I am. We all go through stuff. But I want you to know, man, that you're going to be all right. If I made it to 100K, I'm not sure what your dreams are. But you could you could go after your dreams, too. You can go after your dreams too, man. You got me? You can do it. You can do it, man. You got to stop worrying about what people think about you and be you, man. I'm, I'm being real. Oh, it's another thing I'm going to share with you. So, you know, when I first started YouTube, I'm going to keep it real, just like anybody. You know what I mean? They got somebody that's pulling up and stopping right here in front of me so i'm trying to stay focused on y'all but i see them but so <laughs> so look so they had you know just, just like anybody else in the very beginning <laughs> in, the, in the in the very beginning so in the very beginning just like anybody else you know i would send some messages to you know these these guys who i viewed as like big youtubers you know that were you know doing you know content that that i like and you know I ain't really get no no reply, no no responses back. But I ain't take it personal. You got what I'm saying? But faith, work, faith. You know what I mean? I kept going, kept going. Now those people reaching back out. And they like, oh, my bad. I thought I replied to that mess. I forgot to hit the send button. You, you, you know how it is. I just, hey, I just got to tell you the truth because on the road to... On, on Faith Street, you see it before it happened. 
And on the road to where you trying to go, you going to deal with stuff like that. But I'm here to tell you about it so that you don't take it personal whenever it happens to you. Because, boy, it hurts sometimes. Boy, it hurt one time. When you see on the screen, it say R-E-A-D. They read the message, but they ain't hit you back. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> that hurt a little bit. But over time, I grew thick skin and I ain't take it personal. I say, DeMarcus, we gonna keep on grinding, boy. You don't need nobody approval. No nothing. All you need is what God put on your heart and, 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 and a willing attitude and you could do anything you put your mind to. Then I look at myself, I say, self, you really believe that, boy? You got two views on your... You really believe that? <laughs> and I say, hey, we going to find out. The only way to find out is to go 100% and then look back and see if it made sense. And I'm here today to tell you it made sense. So that thing you getting ready to start, that thing you want to do, I'm telling you right now, this the only validation you need. You can do it. If it's a dream, if it's a vision from God, if it's something God putting on your heart, boy, go after it. You don't need a peanut gallery of people to believe in you. Uh oh, that's another thing. Make sure everybody in your boat is rowing because some people may be back there drilling holes in the boat when you ain't looking. <laughs> you wonder why it's sinking. Oh, watch who you got on your boat. Sometimes, ugh, sometimes you got to throw everything off the boat. Sometimes it might just be you in that boat. That's okay. But boy, you better keep on rowing and don't look back. Keep on going, boy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for a wonderful and a supporting family. I'm thankful for my amazing supporting wife. I'm thankful for my daughter. I, I, I'm thankful for the things that God has blessed me with. I'm thankful for y'all that I get to talk to y'all. That's what I'm thankful for. Man, I can't understand nothing I read, but I think that's about it. But check it out. Always remember this right here. And this is something I told myself a while back on social media. One of two things is going to happen when I come across your screen. Either you're going to get inspired and follow me and rock with me. Or you're going to get annoyed and delete me. One or the other. I ain't going to be in the middle. <laughs> Facebook, and Instagram, YouTube. I'm not just hanging around on nobody friends list. That's not me. Either they don't, either they don't deleted me, or they follow me. I ain't, I, I ain't in the middle. I'm all the way for God. I'm all the way for God. Either you rock with me or you don't. It don't matter. That's not gonna stop what God is doing in my life, and you don't let nobody stop what God is doing in your life. If you got 20 best friends, oh, you better watch out because the minute you draw a line in the stand and you stand for something, the people you used to go out to eat with at 4.30 p.m. every Friday and drink uh, margaritas with, the minute you say, I'm done with the margaritas, I'm done talking bad in this circle every 4.30 or Thursday, I, 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 I want to do something, that's when they turn on you. That's when they say, oh, you think you're too good for us. Oh, you think you better than so? Oh, you think? Oh, you think? That's when all that speculation occurs, and then you realize, oh snap! I'm trying to help you out. Them weren't never my friends in the first place. That was only my friends by association. When I stopped drinking the margarita with them, when I stopped gossiping with them, when I stopped doing what they wanted me to do, when I stopped submitting to their will. And I wanted to go after God and do this. That's when they stop calling. That's when they stop start laughing at me. That's when they start distancing them stuff. And then it makes sense. Then you'll be like that dude with that diaper on his head. It makes sense what he's talking about now. Nah, for a while, I ain't understanding. But I see what he's talking about. People going to walk out of your life. Keep going anyway. People going to distance themselves and say, man, you, it don't take all that. Keep going anyway. Keep go, clear them all out. Clear them all out and take a stand. God will bring some new people in your life that say, man, I need to be around you. Man, let's go to a Bible study. Man, let's get in the Word. Man, can I pray for you? 
See, many people, oh, I promise you, I'm just trying to help you out. Listen, I'm not being critical critical or condemnatory towards anybody or anybody. I just simply want to help you out because I love you. Many people, they go to middle school or high school. You, you can't help who you in the class with. You feel me? If we in ninth, 10th grade and we in math together and we stay in the same neighborhood and you're sitting next to me in class, we probably going to be friends because of proximity. That just happened. That don't mean I got to rock out with you every Friday of my life. But as you get older, you learn, listen to me, you can choose your friends. People don't have to stay your friends just because that's who you grew up with or that's who you've been through a season with or college or high school with or, or work with. No, no, that's because of proximity. You got me? So when you try to grow this way, if they if they not trying to grow that, if they trying to pull that way, hey, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. I challenge you. I know this might be a little rough. Go through your call log. Examine, examine your friends or the people you talk to. Look, go to your recent calls and look and see if that was a positive interaction, if it's going the right direction, is it pulling you in the right, or is it pulling you down, and go through that, and be honest with yourself, cause see me, don't call my, <laughs> don't call my phone, unless you got some good news, unless you want to talk about the word of God, cause I, I'm not trying to hear anything else, I'm trying to live in my own little world, it's special over here, cause don't nothing, need to go in my ears but the word of God because you know what the Bible tell me the Bible say out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so what that mean Demarcus you got to fill up on the word of God if that's what you want to speak so I got to protect my eye gate my ear gate my mouth gate any type of way that words or different things can enter my mind I need to protect it so sometimes when I'm feeling a little low, my gas tank on E, I pull over to the gas station. I put the pump right here and I fill up on the word of God. I get to reading, encouraging myself till my tank is all the way full. And now I start speaking that word of God. Why is that? Because my heart is full out of the abundance of the heart. The mouth speaketh. When you squeeze a lemon, what come out? Lemon juice. When you squeeze an orange, what happened? Orange juice come out. When you squeeze an apple, what come out? Apple juice. If I squeeze my little daughter uh, squeezy pack right here, what's going to come out? Squeezy pack, <laughs> right? When life squeezes you, what's going to come out? Whatever you've been putting in, what you've been putting in. Have you been putting the word of God in your life so you can speak to your situations, so you can speak to that mountain and tell it to move? I done been through a lot of low points in my life. That's right. I learned to speak to my situation with the word of God. The Bible says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God is with me. So since I know he's with me in the valley, I got no reason to be afraid. I'm going to keep on speaking the word of God because see a valley is just a grave with both ends kicked out. It's just a valley. You're going through it. Look, key word through, though I walk through the valley. You got to keep going if you want to get out. You can't sit down in the valley. No, you can't take a nap in the valley. No, you got to keep going. Please don't throw a pity party in the valley. No, man, you got to keep on going. And if it's one thing I wanted to share with you today, it's that God loves you. And he's with you every single step of the way. For those of y'all who want to create a channel, I'm going to keep it real with you. Make the videos anyway. Don't wait on it to be perfect. Because there's a such thing called paralysis by analysis. You can make a video and sit there and, and edit it so much. Oh, I got a bump on my nose. Let me delete it. Oh, my voice is cracking. My voice be cracking a lot in the videos. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to keep going anyway. I ain't delete nothing. Hey, boy. Hey, hey, you bold. So you got to encourage yourself. I'm bold, man. I'm a child of God. I'm not deleting nothing. You look at the video. Oh, man. Uh, I didn't realize I had a booger in my nose. Keep the video up. You might expire somebody who got a boogies in their nose, too. Oh, I should have flossed my teeth. I got black beans in my teeth. I was eating Chipotle. Boy, keep the black bean in your video and upload it anyway. 
because you might not have time to do it again. Just upload it. Your first 100 uploads going to be crazy. You're going to look you're going to look silly. You're going to feel embarrassed, but that's how you get better. You learn to keep on going. Repetition, whatever you practice, you become good at. If I shoot free, if I shoot 500 free throws every day before I go to bed, guess what? In in about a month time, will I be a better free throw shooter? You better believe it. Why is that? Is it because I'm better than you? No. We both got two arms to shoot free throws. It's just because I put in the rep. The repetition, whatever you practice, you become good at. And listen, I need you to also get pra uh, 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 practice getting into the presence of God. Practice the skill of being still. What that look like, Demarcus? Lord, have your way. Lord, I don't know what to say, but I choose to be still in your presence for 30 seconds. Speak to me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Practice being still. Oh, I see it. Some people are going to say, Demarcus, 30 seconds isn't enough time in the presence of God. Listen to me. We live in a realistic world. Everybody ain't praying five hours like you. I'm going to be real. I'm not. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just being real with you. Sometimes people have busy days. Sometimes 30 seconds, 10 seconds, all you got sometimes. 10 seconds, 30. That, that's, that's a lot sometimes. Why is that, Demarcus? Listen to me. A little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing. What you think God would rather? Zero or ten seconds? Come on now. Let me tell you. Oh, man, I'm trying to help you out. Let, let me tell you what God put on my heart. <laughs> some people say, I don't, some people say, I don't read Demarcus. I don't read the Bible before I go to sleep because I feel embarrassed or I feel bad when I fall asleep reading my Bible. Like, you know. I feel bad. I need you to look at it through the eyes of God. What father wouldn't want their child falling asleep in their arms? You better fall asleep reading the word of God. Sometimes I doze off. Listen, I might have my audio Bible in. I'm listening, and I'm, I'm reading the word. I doze off. I'm feeling good because I fell asleep in his presence. I wouldn't have it no other way. I'm not going to feel bad about it. You fell asleep doing the right thing, at least trying. Do you think God thinks you're going to go 12 hours straight at night reading? Your, he knows you got to get to sleep. He knows you got school in the morning. He knows you got to go to work. He knows you need to brush your teeth. He, Well, that, that didn't really go there. But he, he, he knows your situation. Just give him what you got. Sometimes if my daughter had a long day and she real tired, she might lay in my arms and we have a conversation and I might ask her a question like, hey, so uh, so what do you want to do tomorrow? And I don't hear nothing. Not even Nathan. I don't hear Nathan. And I look down. And I say, oh, she going to sleep, but I'm happy because she fell asleep in my presence. Oh, man. Once again. If I'm natural, I'm a natural father and I get happy about that. How much more does your heavenly father love it when you spend time with him, when you give him the last of your days? Don't spend your life have, having let everybody use you but God. You let your job use you. You let your, your friends and your family use you. You let your daughter or, or your, anybody you're connected to. It's a pull on you because you're a man or a woman. It's, that's your responsibility. This world will use you. That's a good thing. It's a blessing to be used. God has made you a bridge. Don't be a bridge unless you're willing to get walked on. You're going to go through some things. But don't let everybody have used you but God. You will let all somebody call you. Hey, can you be at this place at this time? Sure, I'm on the way. And you hit the gas to go do a favor for that person. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. But when God puts something on your heart to do, oh, no. Oh no, I don't feel comfortable doing it. Well, you feel comfortable doing everything else? Get ready to be used by God. 100,000 subscribers. If I do it, you can do it. I promise you, you can. But you got to be relentless. You got to be relentless. You have no idea the stuff I done, I, I, I done been through or the stuff that's, that has came against me. I promise you, you don't even know. 
I promise you, you don't. I, oh, I promise you. I don't want to go into detail, but I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> you 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 gonna have to go through it. You in a fight, whether you want to fight back or not. You ever watched a box a boxing match and the dude just in the corner like this, balled up, just getting beat up? Like, bro, throw a hook, throw an uppercut, throw something, throw a throw an uppercut at the enemy, throw a scripture, throw something. You got to get tired of getting beat up and like burned down by the enemy. And you got to wipe the sweat out your eyes, wipe the blood out your eyes and say, I'm about to fight back. I don't care what they say. I'm going to step out on my gift because I understand something. Life is short. When I plugged my phone up this morning, it said the market's 100 percent battery. <laughs> and right now it's about it's about three o'clock p.m. That thing say about nine percent. Guess what? That's how our life is. Imagine if you live 100 years, right? Life is short and it's dwindling down. And pretty soon I look at my phone and say, oh, snap, I need to get home and put this thing on the charger. Why is that? Because time running out in your life. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, man, as the days go by, weeks go by, whatever, your life getting shorter and shorter, boy. Purpose in your mind to use the rest of your life for God. Purpose in your life, man. Inspire. No, I'm sorry. Why I said that wrong. Aspire to inspire before you expire. God want to use you in a major way, man. Stop worrying about what people think. This coming from a dude with a diaper on his head. <laughs> if that don't help you, nothing else will. People could talk a good game, but if they put a diaper on their head, you say, man, they throw it off for real. Boy, boy you, you would be surprised at no more people that come at me because of this. <laughs> but I just be laughing, though, because you got the right one. I'm built for it. Wait till you see what I do next. We're going to go even harder for the Lord. Somebody going to get saved because of this diaper on my head. The person who invented this diaper ain't had no idea. But it got in the right hands. Give me some more of that poop, man. It got in the right hands. My daughter got a diaper and a squeezy at home. I took what I had and I used it. What did David do? All he had was a slingshot in the right and he used it. I'm a type of dude. I'm a, I ain't going to make no excuses. I'm going to take what I got and use it. Thought I had a squeeze in the diaper. Well, I just used it. It showed up and made something happen on the video. All my videos, every video you see on the channel came from this cell phone. Not the best quality. All oh, I, I, I ain't. I'm not one of these people talking about. Oh, I need to go buy a ten thousand dollar camera. I need this. I need that. No. All I got is a grind, and that's what I'ma use. All I got is a grind. Because if you buy a $30,000 camera, but you ain't got no grind, you just lost $30,000. Develop your grind first. You got to. You got to be able to, you got to keep fighting, keep going, 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 going. So much stuff coming against you. Go, go. You got to be able to stand on a mountain of 1,000 no's for that one yes. All you need is one yes from God, despite when the world's telling you no. I don't fit into every environment. That's okay. You don't fit into every environment. That's okay, but you still special. You still got a gift. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I have a gift. Because that's right. God has given you a gift. And understand that every day is a gift. That's why it's called the present. All right. So since God has given you a gift, your gift is meant for you to give it away. Sometimes we record a video, we look at it and say, oh, I don't like the way I sound. You ain't supposed to like the way it sounds. It's a gift to the world. Now give it away because somebody over there going to like the way you sound. Somebody over there going to get motivated by what you're saying. Somebody over there, they're going to write that scripture down you talking about. Somebody over there battling depression. They're they, they going to go into prayer after that. 
Give your gift away, man. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.